to replace the power steering pump on my 1981 Camaro drag car. Let me show you what's been going on with this power steering pump. When I bought the car, it had like broken parts inside of the pump and it wasn't leaking, but it wasn't working. So I have a stack of power steering pumps in the basement, right? I found another one just like it, replaced it, it leaks. Now, power steering pump number three, check this out. Another banjo style pump. This one should not leak. So we're gonna pull that one out and put this one in. If this one doesn't work in the end, I do know that this reservoir is good. I think it's good, actually I don't know. And this reservoir leaks, but that pump should be good. And this pump, I have no idea. So this will be the final time, so I can finally be done with this once and for all, but if it doesn't work, then I'll pull the pump out of that reservoir and put it in here. Let's say this turns into like a six hour job. I'm just gonna splice it up. So it looks like it only took us 10 minutes. And then it looks like we know what we're doing. Perfect. Look over here. If you can get the camera right there, that bracket to use this short belt, which is what I wanted for racing, I had to cut that out of the bracket so I could adjust it out a little bit more and tighten up that really short little belt. I'm never getting that big. Did that go in that drain pan? I hope not. No, it did. Yep. Okay, boom. Always carry a backup. Another thing is when you're working inside of tight spaces, always use the longest wrench that you own. Even though I own stubby wrenches and they're right there, I had to use the long one. Bam. This one, if you can see, it's got like bolts. It's got this fitting on the back, bolts on the back. So we want to put those on the back of this one. And then the front, has this pulley, which is the pulley that lines up in that car. So we want to use this pulley, and then we want this bracket. Put it on here. The other thing, one more thing is, uh, these are all different. So you have to make sure that if you want to use the same pulley, that it's the same type of like connection over here. So this one's like a splined shaft. O-ring is intact. So these are 916 on the back. Take these guys off. Oops. So these are the bolts that hold the pump into the reservoir. So sometimes if the pump has shifted a little bit, they won't always line up perfectly. So right here, this part, I use an impact to get this nut off, but you gotta hold this back piece and you have to use a wrench that's thin enough so that it goes under this bolt so this could still spin. Boom. Put these in an order that I remember. Bottom right. Top-ish right. Left. Here's this. Okay, so this thing, I think we're done with this. Although I'm gonna keep it for parts. Just like I keep everything for parts. It looks like it needs like a washer back there. You see these brass washers? I think I need one more. Where to find one?
Yeah, it looks good. The washers. So this bolt just doesn't line up right. All right, power steering pump number three. Ah, oh. actually, is this the same pulley? No, a little bit different. bolts I might actually be able to use oh and the washer beautiful garbage Once again, line up the splines, goes all the way down, spins freely. Big things happening right here. Beautiful. And that, actually let's see if this cap fits on this one. Get more. Do you fit? Yes, beautiful. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, my back. Everything hurts. All right, check this out. One thing I noticed is the this pulley kind of goes back a little bit. That's not good. So we're going to have to space it out over here. I'm either going to space it out. It looks like it's tilted this way. So these two top ones here and here need to be spaced forward. That's easy to do. Let's make sure that it doesn't leak. And there's my screwdriver. Perfect. I'm gonna try to start this thing up without spraying it. Um, it hasn't been started in months. But I'm gonna see if I could just crank it and then pull fuel through the filter and into the car. We'll see if we can do that. If not, then we'll have to resort to spraying it. How's my fuel filter? Is it full of gas? It was full, now it's like a little less than half. Oh, it's got gas in it? Yeah. There's fuel in the, there's gas in the fuel filter. Watch out. There we go, it fired. Close. Hey, it fired. Nice. I put these on. Yeah, it's been sitting forever. It fired right up.
car has power steering right now. Testing. Beautiful testing. I'm very glad that it's very smoky. Very smoky out here. I don't know how this happened. How did this happen? Who, know, who could say really? But the main thing is that the best way to test your power steering pump for leaks is to do a burnout inside your garage. Look at all the smoke still leaving. Wild. All right, perfect. It works. We did it. Three steering pumps later. Three power steering pumps later, we did it. Beautiful.